1979, in 1977, we sent the first group of pioneers, young boys, to Cuba, boys and girls. They were the studying there in school, in, in, in Isla de Pinos, Isla de los Ventus, We had thousands and thousands of Angolans who were trained in Cuba. It was a major operation. It was not only the military side, also the civilian side. They prepared, we had doctors that were trained in Cuba. You know, in the meantime, they said that when we had Cuban doctors in Angola, but also we sent more, many thousands of people to Cuba to be trained there, and they were trained. And the Cubans assisted us and conditioned me for all those years. And it's amazing, speaking here today, you know, I'm very, very lucky because I didn't expect to be invited to speak here today. And life sometimes reserves us some surprise, which you never know only when you are just living the situation. <coughs> you know, in 1983, I joined the Angolan Army. And after two years at the military school, in 1985, December, I had to join the Cuban military that went to, that went to Angola. We had tactical group people, we had people from different specialties. They were in, in Funda. Uh, which is uh, just uh, some 20, uh, 30 kilometers far from Luanda, north of Luanda. Because the situation was unbearable. And we were living very, <laughs> very difficult times. And uh, there were more Cuban troops there to assist their lawyers. They trained us in military schools everywhere. And we went to the military operation. The first time when I met the Cubans, and we were sitting there in the same trench, sharing the same. It's amazing. I've never found in my life people with such a great you know, sense of solidarity. It's, you, can, you can't explain that, you have to live that, you have to feel that. And we were with them there. If, we had to, if there was no food, there is no food for nothing. Whatever the little that you have, you know, the Cubans would share with you. You know, I've never seen such a thing. And we were there with them, suffering. 1986, from the beginning of January, I was sent to the front line, Matala, and I was there. There was a, a motor uh, infantry brigade there, and then there was also an anti-missile brigade there. We were there with the Cubans for more than a year, sitting with them, sharing with them all that experience, and it's, you know, I've never seen that in my life. So, just to summarize a long story, what Fidel and the Cuba has done for the Angolans is something that has got no price to pay. You cannot pay that. We are so thankful. And in 1988, when we had the Batali Quito Bonaval, which changed the whole landscape of Southern Africa, because that was a very decisive battle. Cuban Fidel sent more troops to Angola, the best pilots, engineers, even fight jets sent to them to Angola. That you know changed the balance of the power between the Angolan armed forces and the South African apartheid regime. And we defeated them in 1988. Till we had the New York negotiations, we had the talks, the negotiations. That was the end of the story. So the South African apartheid regime fell in South Africa. Automatically, Namibia became independent. And also, Angola was free from all that aggression during all those years by the South African regime. We, Angola, have Fidel and Cuba as our best friend of all times to our country. And we have found
I know that we are living a very sad moment that he passed away. But at the same time, I should say, we also, you know, we, we have, it's a joyful moment. Joyful because we know that Fidel has a big revolution in, in Latin America. He also exported that revolution to Africa, not only to Angola, but to many other countries in Africa. And he changed that for good. But we know that his legacy will stay forever for good. And we will, of course, follow his life. We will never ever uh, forget, forget Fidel Castro for what he has done. And for, because his task is, is here. Everyone can feel that. We know what he made for. Not for Angola, but for humanity. We thank you very much. I would like to thank on behalf of the Angolan Embassy, on behalf of all the Angolans that would like to join their voice here. They are not here present. But I would like to say thank you very much. Hasta la victoria siempre y las ideas no siempre.